I grew up in Wales. Um, I got into sport through my mum. So I feel like with people like um, quote unquote Emily here, you can really generally always tell that they are off. And I know that not everyone likes to be on camera as much as I do, but I'm sure he behaves this way when he's off camera as well. The reason I'm making this video is that I can't make a comment because they're turned off. But anyway. Who took me down to a local cycling track um, because I wasn't amazing at other sports because the feet were a bit weird. Uh, I feel amazing. No wonder why that is. Using when I'm out riding, um, there's there's so much liberation that I feel, and it helps me to get through a lot, and it kind of almost acts as like a, a meditation for me. I've got um, multiple national medals and in tracks. He doesn't. I guess he does technically, but he competed with women and that's why he has these awards is because he competed with women and he's biologically male. Cycling. So he cheated. Raced the European World Championships and won national championships with a broken ankle at the start of Wow, okay. 2022, I was in conversation with um, British Cycling around entering the National Omnium Championships, and they gave they gave all the clearance for that to me. And That's because they're liberal laws, and they're coddling you, dude. But anyway. And someone someone leaked it to the national press that I was racing, and then everything blew up in, in my face, and it was all over the national press. I had to shut down my social media for two or three weeks. Um, I had journalists turning up at my front door, and then the week after, British Cycling suspended their their trans policy and we've been there ever since suddenly everyone has an opinion on you on your body how you look um on your rights and i i know there needs to be discussion around policies but it's just how toxic has become it was and if you were a biological male competing in biological male sports no one would care literally and people would care even less if you were an actual female competing in cycling I cannot name one famous cyclist other than Lance Armstrong, and he was doping. <laughs> anyway. It was tough for me mentally. There were, there were some, some quite dark thoughts that I had, but luckily I'm... Maybe that was because you knew you shouldn't have been competing with women. Mostly through that, so obviously because I can't... I can't. Mostly through that. A lot of the time when we have negative thoughts, when we have dark thoughts, when we have bad feelings, it's because they're there for a reason. It's not because they're, they're there for no reason, okay? A race um, in a mainstream capacity at the moment, I have to think of different goals for myself because at the end of the day, I'm still, still an athlete and I still want to use what I'm good at to try and promote good. Um, so I'm You want to use cheating to promote good? In the process of organising um, either one or more charity rides to just try and bring some positivity into everything that's happened and to try and use my platform for um, for some more good. To all the LGBT sports people out there who who've been negatively affected by all of the all of the media and they don't feel like they're welcome in sport, you are welcome in sport. You are loved. There is so much support for you out there. What is with this endless constant praise and endless constant acceptance in every single avenue of life? And also, um, what the fuck is with these people, like, making every single waking moment about their sexuality? Most people who have a sexuality, so, you know, everyone, don't want everything to be about their sexuality most people even if they are trans or homosexual or bisexual or what have you they want to go about doing whatever it is they do and they don't want people to say bisexual cyclist bisexual comedian um you know lesbian doctor they don't want to hear that because it's not fucking relevant to what's going on. And things will change. Yeah, things will change because you're not going to be allowed in women's sports anymore, bro.